So my very first year teaching Success 101, I come from the correctional facility system, so I'm used to kids having personality quirks. And I had this boy in my class, and he won't sit in his desk like a regular student. He's kind of perched like a dark little vulture. He's got his hood up. He's got black fingernail polish. He's got his knees, you know, all bundled up and his feet on the chair. And I was like, really? I came to public school. I was kind of hoping I was done with this part. Okay. And it wasn't until I get to the IEP meeting a few weeks later, because you know you got to get everything going, that they told me, oh, by the way, he was on a half-day behavior program last year in eighth grade because he assaulted a teacher and sent them to the hospital with a fractured jaw. I'm like, sweet, that would have been nice to know, you know, when I came in. And, uh, but he started investing in the 10-year plan. Now, he was not a rock star as a freshman. He got a C, but that was pretty awesome because he hadn't even been attending school full day, and here he was at high school attending school full days. And as the 10-year plan went on, or the course of the semester, he really kind of took down the hood. When we got to that, I, I kind of built that relationship where I could go to chapter nine and kind of go, hey, you know, what's your excuse? And he's like, well, my excuse is my dad's in prison and my mom moved us here so that we could be close to my dad at EOCI. My mom's on welfare and, you know, that's the way it is. So I was like, oh, okay. Uh, but we had some really good examples in the curriculum that we could work with. And he just started to realize that he didn't have to go to prison just because his dad went to prison, that he could write his own 10-year plan. And over the course of the time, we just slowly noticed in the IEP meetings, because like I said, I have the kids for three years. If they're in on a modified diploma plan, I'll teach them for two years in history as well. And all of a sudden, it was just noticed, hey, he's not in detention. He's on a full day plan. He's not in detention. You know, junior year, we're sitting in the IEP meeting, and he's on the honor roll. He's on the honor roll in introductory courses. I mean, don't get me wrong, he didn't, he did, he didn't go all AP on us or anything, although he's capable, but he's on the honor roll? Like, when did that happen? Then I noticed in class, where's the hoodie? Where's the black fingernail polish? Uh, the ponytail, well actually the long, scraggly, greasy hair was now groomed in a ponytail. He couldn't do a ton with resources because they lived in you know, that part of town, even Pendleton, Oregon has one of those, but he could do the best he could with the resources that he had and he figured out that he could get his clothes washed in the life skills room and some things like that and made use of those resources. So last year was the first year that I wouldn't have him in class. So during my prep period after Christmas break, he's in my class. I'm like, it's my prep period. <laughs> And he goes, okay, Stuart, I did some research because, you know, we have that follow-up plan. He didn't say it like that. I'm saying it like that for y'all. And so he, he's like, I'm really good with cars, and I'm really good with my hands, and I want to do something with cars. What can I do with cars? So we sat down during my prep period that I really needed, and we looked at, okay, what does Blue Mountain Community College a mile from our campus offer? And they, had a, they have a diesel mechanic program. So I kind of eased him into that because that was kind of where I wanted him to go, but it was like... Let's not blow him out of the water just yet. And he's like, okay, how do I get to college? Well, we have this awesome Aspire program at Pendleton High School. And so I took him down there, introduced him to Jill for Aspire, and I thought, I'm out, I'm done, right? He uh, didn't make his appointment. She comes and finds me. He didn't come to his appointment. Okay, so I go track him down a week or so later, and I say, what's the deal? And he's like, I don't trust her. <laughs> It's like, okay, how about I go to the appointment with you? Yes. Another prep period, all right. So we go to Aspire, and then he, I, I said, she's okay, that's okay. I, honestly, until this point, I didn't know we bonded like that. I didn't know we had that kind of relationship. So, and so he meets with Aspire, he fills out his FAFSA. Of course he qualifies for free tuition at BMCC. And then we work with a counselor, she's awesome. She found out that I was giving up my prep time and she took over because she's built a relationship with his family. And so I don't, I, I don't know what's going to happen. That's why I kind of hesitated when they asked me about this story. But he's registered at BMCC for this fall in the diesel mechanic program. Thank you.